OK, so you want to know how to print envelopes in Microsoft Word. You need to start off with a blank document, then go to the Mailings tab, and then click on the Envelopes button. So once in this dialog box, you need to provide a delivery address and optionally a return address. So I'll do that. There's my delivery address, and there's my return address. You then want to click on this Options button, and you need to specify the size of your envelope. So by default, it's normally size 10, but you can choose any of these options in this list. So just look at your envelope and make sure you're picking the correct size. Now you don't have to do this, but you can change the font for your delivery address and for your return address. You can also change its position by using these controls here. So you can specify the distance from the left side of the envelope and the top of the envelope for both the delivery address and the return address. And this little preview will show you where you're positioning both the addresses. Then you want to go to the Printing Options tab. And this very helpfully tells you how to feed the envelope into your printer. The option that you need to look at is the one with the blue border around it. So for me, I need to feed the envelope face up and centered within the tray. So once you're happy with that, click on OK. And then if you just want to print this envelope, you click on the Print button, and it will ask you whether you want to save the return address as your default return address. So you need to either click on Yes or No at this point. I'll say Yes, and it will print that envelope for you. Now to print your next envelope, all you do is you go back to the Envelopes button, and you put in your next delivery address. Now all the settings that you use for your first envelope will probably apply to your second, so it's just a matter of clicking on Print again, and you'll get that second envelope. Now this method is absolutely fine if you're printing one or two envelopes, but if you're printing a lot of envelopes, then you really need to use a different method, and that method is Mail Merge. Now, I'm not going to cover Mail Merge in this video, but I will leave a link in the description of the video to another tutorial which takes you through the steps to complete the Mail Merge process.